Hello friends, this is Umesh and in this video we're going to see how we can able to control the brightness of an LED. So as of now we have seen how to turn on and off LED, we have seen how to connect and switch and then control the LED. So it is all about input and output but we haven't yet seen or explored as of now how to uh, generate a variable voltage on particular pin of Arduino so that you can control the brightness of an LED. So the concept itself is called as pulse width modulation. So pulse width modulation will allow you to control or maybe generate a variable voltage on particular pin. So as you can see right now in this circuit schematic, I have connected the longer leg of an LED through resistor to pin number six of an Arduino and the shorter leg of the LED will go to the ground. So that's all simple circuit that you have to set up. Now talking about the pulse width modulation in Arduino Uno, you have a six pin, you have a set of six pin. So in the six pin, you have pin number three, five, six, nine, 10, and 11. These are the six different pin on Arduino Uno, uh, which has a tilde sign before them. If you can carefully see on your Arduino, you can see uh, the tilde sign are next to the spins and that represent that this pins, this digital pins has the, um, has a feature to be acting as a pulse width modulation. Now generating a variable voltage on particular pin on Arduino is making very simple using a simple a function calling a simple function called analog write because we already have used a function called analog read while we used to read the temperature from the temperature sensor. So let's not waste the time and generate a variable voltage on this pin number six and um, we will going to control the brightness of the LED. So let's go back to the Arduino sketch and define a variable. So the first variable we need, need is an integer variable. We can give it a name PWM pin and the spin will be connected to pin number six. So I would give it the six uh, PWM pin and in setup function, I have to say pin mode and uh, then write the pin number PWM pin and uh, oh, the pin will be the capital and then it's the output output that's all we just have to set up the pin that we are uh, controlling and then we have to come back to the loop function and we should have to write a for loop for and we have to write int value so value is a variable initially the value would be zero for the value and then we will say if value is uh, less than or equal to 255 then we must say value is increment plus plus and then we should have to write a function analog write which will write the analog value to the pin number six that is a pwm pin and um, the value will be the variable which hold the uh, number and then we must skip the delay let's skip it a 30 milliseconds so every time when it um, put the new value into the value variable and put into the pwm pin it will take a 30 milliseconds you can hardly see this but that's fine <clears throat> and you have to make another for loop which will be like um, integer value if value is at its highest level like like if it's a uh, equals to 255 then we have to say value would be if value is um, greater than or equals to 255 then I want this value to be decremented and then I must go and create a loop and I would take the same thing from this earlier for loop and put in here and um, you can see one thing that what we are doing is actually we are changing the value and then passing into the PWM pin writing 0 to 255 so that will be from when the light will be very very dim or almost um, turned off it will be a zero and when the light will be at the at the highest brightness then it will be 255 so it will go to zero to 255 and this um, loop will take from 255 um, and if it's a uh, this will be I think greater than equal to zero and um, um, then we want this value to be decremented and we can take a delay delay and this delay would be significantly more so I can make it a 50 um, between this um, very very lower brightness higher brightness and uh, very very lower brightness so that we can able to see by human eyes 
that uh, how this will change the brightness so this is all the code that you have you have a pin number six where you are connected in led you have defined this PWM pin into output mode and then you wrote a for loop which will make the LED from uh, almost off to the highest brightness 0 to 255 analog counts you have written by using analog write function and then you took the value from 255 to 0 means uh, from higher brightness to the lower brightness of an LED and keep this loop uh, going on so you will see the effect where your LED is from turn off to slowly slowly to the highest brightness to the lower brightness so let's upload the sketch and see if it can work so let me upload the sketch you can see right now this LED brightness is increasing it seems like now it, it the LED is at highest of its brightness and so now it is going down so you can see this LED is a little bit dim now it's almost turn off and turn on again so you can see the effect of the brightness control by your eyes so by the way if you don't want to write this code you can create a dimming effect by using a ready example code so if you don't want to write this code if you don't like this code maybe you want to go to file examples and in the basics there is an example called fade so you can take this ready example code I can show you this code I can make this code a little bit bigger. This code is a little bit different than what I have used. So um, I will show you. Um, here they have used an LED. Um, it's connected to 9 here, but I would make it to 6 because my socket is set up for 6. And the fade amount is 5, so the interval would be 5. So after every 5 LED counts, it will uh, increment and decrement the brightness. It's a little bit different the way they have done, but I will show you what they have done. They have written an analog write and they check the brightness and brightness equal to fade amount. So they, all the logic happens here in this if statement. So you check if the brightness equal equals to zero means if it's off and or then if it's on means the highest of its brightness when the brightness is greater than or equal to 255, then they want this fade amount to be let's say in the beginning the fade amount value is let's say 5 so basically what is happening here is they are multiplying the 5 with minus 1 so it will increment with the 5 and decrement with the 5 analog count and after they have given a delay of 30 milliseconds in between so you can able to see how the LED dims means after the interval of 5 um, uh, milliseconds okay so if you want to test this code then I will upload the sketch and you can see the difference between the, the look that I have used and the code that they have given. So you can still see some dimming effect here. You can use any code that you want. The, the bottom line is it should have to be worked. And uh, I want you to present both of this code. So this is one and this is for other one. Um, you can use any one that you like. And I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.